All right, what is going on guys? AS Rose here and we are back with another video from the tea room about CJ So Cool and Lexi as well as this strange so-called relationship they got going on. Sometimes when it comes to CJ So Cool as well as a lot of other YouTubers, you can kind of tell when the video is scripted and you don't even got to be a content creator to peep that type of stuff. If the script is well thought out and horrible enough, I'm sure even Stevie Wonder could see through this nonsense and that's how I feel about CJ and his relationship with Lexi. But look, what, what CJ got going on with royalty though? Oh bro, that's definitely for real. She don't want this dude alive nor breathing. Thing. She need him in the dirt with no custody of the kids. She may not have said that, but I know she be thinking that type of stuff though. But I'm not gonna hold y'all no longer with this video, man. With that being said, are y'all ready? Let's get it. So I have some very sad news to report because it appears that CJ So Cool and Lexi may have broken up. Now they did the first thing that everyone does when they break up. They unfollowed each other on Instagram and CJ even removed most of the photos that he have with Lexi off of his profile. I believe at this moment, he only has one still up. Now at this time, Lexi didn't remove any of her photos, but people have noticed that Lexi is actually back at home now and she's no longer at CJ's house. So at the time of this recording, I did look at CJ's Instagram and I also took a look at Lexi's Instagram not that there was anything for me to look at her body real life fake but they are still currently not following each other on Instagram which is a start to moving in the right direction so applause to CJ for that but Lexi you you get no applause where did you even come from popping in CJ life like this what was she to him again once upon a time a, 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 a housemaid a, his accountant nigga I forgot he found you on the side of the curb Lexi you look like you lie every chance you get oh only fans body having ass her body is definitely going stupid right now and i'm not talking about it in a good way it is paid for and all who did you go to dr miami and <laughs> carlos gomez let me know lexi how you 24 but you look like you pushing 42 stupid ass oh sexy piranha looking ass and cj you not safe either D didn't lexi business friends try to scam you <laughs> but you got love for this thought that came from the streets and still belong to the streets i don't get it anyways if you guys listen to the last video that i posted on royalty and cj then you know that royalty and cj did go back to court and it's being stated that royalty is seeking twenty thousand dollars in child support i beg your pardon i beg your pardon now cj posted the twins on his instagram page stating that he actually won in court because now he has one full week with the twins and he playing with your big cousin guess what they are Yesterday in court, I won you for a whole week at a time now. So you get to stay with me for a whole week. Are you ready? I'm happy for CJ and all with this winning the twins and having them for a week at a time thing. But I'm not too sure about that $20,000 in child support. I'm not saying he can't afford it. He, trust me, he, CJ has more than enough money. But $20,000 to the average man, if he was in court and he heard that he had to pay that much? A, a lot of depression and pulling your hair out, followed by sitting in the corner fetal position, talking to yourself out loud, telling yourself that everything is going to be okay when in reality it's not. Royalty knows she, bro, royalty knows she be gassing it. She don't need that much in child support. She rich her damn self. So what did you really own? You grimy. Big grimes. Now, royalty's male friend Rico decided to cut off his dreads and burn them. Now, people in his comment section were stating that he was trying to be like CJ because CJ too recently cut off his dreads. Man, y'all get the about my comments talking about all that woo -doo -woo -doo. I ain't trying to be like nobody baby mama you hear me nigga really be going through shit done went through shit and I just detached from all that shit like I said when I'm at peace y'all safe homie feel me and that's what it is man. I'm tired of that shit nigga I ain't trying to be like nigga I'm a I'm a real one out here and I out of every person I didn't cross paths within this life and then seen on the internet, this nigga Rico is the closest thing to Rigby from regular show. Now tell me I'm capping. Look, look, look at him and then look at Rigby and tell me they not related. A genie from Tennessee looking ass nigga. Somebody asked you to grant them three wishes, you hand them three black and mouths. Them is your only form of wishes. Ugh, glass. Boy, your confused porcupine looking ass nigga. Rico, you definitely tried to copy CJ, but where the error happened was, look, CJ combed his dreads out and was left with a bunch of dead hair in the bag. I seen a little bit of the video. Rico cut all of his hair off and burned it trying to be exactly like CJ. Thought he knew his exact move. Never let them know your next move. Rico, you sound dumb as hell talking about some, oh, trying to be like somebody baby mama. You mean somebody baby daddy? You trying to be like royalty baby daddy? CJ, I know. Talking about he a real one, but but didn't you just, did, bro, didn't you used to rob females, nigga? You robbed Danny Banks and thought she was stupid. 
you know you toxic when you rob somebody and then try to help the person you just robbed as if you had nothing to do with it. Flying Dutchman Daddy looking at him. So I'm pretty sure most of you have saw CJ's video and the clip that he posted on Instagram of him pretending to be Lexi. Now in the skit that he posted on Instagram, it's basically stating Lexi went through his phone, he caught her, got upset with her, and then they broke up. So CJ posted moral of the story Lexi was more than perfect for me but I need to heal and fix my co-parenting situation so there's no drama in my life then he also stated my baggage was a lot for any 24 year old innocent woman I realized it and had to stop her from experiencing more drama so did he break up with her because of his drama he got going on with royalty or did Lexi break up with him because she went through his phone and caught him talking to other girls or did CJ go through Lexi phone and find out she was talking to other guys and created this skit to hide the fact that I don't know, bro. I'm trying to make sense of all of this just like how y'all is. They could definitely still be together and cap into the internet for views. So then Lexi went on to Instagram and posted, then quickly deleted this. Imagine having to limit your comments because the truth hurts. Imagine how I feel dealing with this disappointment. I just hope you truly heal and you can get your mind right. This is not normal behavior. Everyone Pray for CJ, please, please, please. Then she stated, I appreciate all the overwhelming love and support. Seriously, y'all are keeping me calm and putting a smile on my face with all your kind words. I will be making a YouTube channel really soon. Girl, don't nobody give a damn about you or your funky YouTube channel. I just looked at your channel, by the way, and you still ain't posted nothing yet. You haven't shared anything. So why are you lying? Considering that you posted this on IG and then quickly deleted it somewhat got me leaning towards CJ cheating while the other part got me thinking about how CJ head shaped like a sweet potato. Yo, mustard potato salad smelling at. So a lot of people are thinking that this is fake, this is a skit. And if you look to the left side of the screen here, you can clearly see Lexi's reflection. So she was actually there while CJ was recording this video. As you can see, she must have realized that her reflection was showing and she tried to move out of the way, but I'm guessing they forgot to edit this part out of the video. Well, look who then got caught faking the breakup for views, Mr. CJ so cool and Miss Thotty Thotty Lexi. Shorty tried to slide out the cut like we wasn't finna peep that. Are you serious, nigga? I see you. <laughs> CJ, you been doing YouTube for how long and you making stupid mistakes like this? I mean, you think somebody staging a breakup for views would be a little more smarter and more calculated, so that just got me thinking you rushed through the whole editing process. Who knows if this relationship was even real from the start? It was most likely scripted from the jump and the money grab for the both of them. But this is where I will be wrapping up the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that like button, turn on post notifications so you never miss another video, share this video with your friends, and follow me on social media. All the links will be in the description box below. And with that being said, I love all of you forever and always, and I'll see you in the next video. But okay. did you know that's your girl? Okay. Push on the itty bitty titty committee, trying to get litty litty when you wanna run up. I'ma hit you with the fucking 50 niggas wanna touch that shit, but never really about that shit. I got a question for you, nigga. How you really do that shit? Hey.